eclectic torrent haul. Um, I look bald, I'm aware. Let's just get into it. So the first thing I'm starting with is this camo military inspired jacket. It's fairly long. I'll show you in a cutaway. Um, it's a size 2. I don't remember the price, but I will link everything below and try to put the prices on the screen and the name of everything so that you guys can find it if it's still available. It's really, really lightweight. It has cool beading on the side. It comes in um, another version I'm going to show you. It's slightly thicker and they're similar. I wouldn't say they're the same thing, but the embroidery is pretty much the same. It's just basically an anorak. It's really, really lightweight. It's nice for like a cool, a cool summer night. And the other one is this black, like, military inspired jacket, inspired jacket. Has the same beading down the sleeve. This is a size one. This one ran bigger than the previous one. This one, I believe, was $68.90. It also comes in olive green. This lovely, lovely moto jacket. It has, like, these little lace things. You can lace, them, lace up the sleeves. You can lace up the back, which I'm in love with it. It has all these details around the collar and the shoulder, whatever, and all the patches all over it. I probably feel like the patches would be controversial for some people but yeah um it just has so much going on and i think it's really cute the only thing i don't like about it is that i didn't realize when i tried it on is that it had a cloth stretchy situation and i don't like that the sleeves are cropped because for me it hits me at a weird length but i got these wonder woman pants you won't be able to see it it's like too bright it just says wonder woman in the red blue and gold lettering these were a size one, which if they would have had a size two, I would have gotten them instead because they ran kind of small. They're just pajama pants. I picked these up for $1.79. These jeans are just their regular like jeggings or whatever. Mine are a 16 short. And they just have all the like destruction and the cutouts or whatever. Next, I have these denim shorts with a little lace embroidered detail on the side a little destruction going on this style comes around every year from what I was told so if you missed out this year and if you they're sold out online I'm not sure but if they aren't I will link them below so I got these black pairs are like really short and they have like this crocheted piece on the side I know they come in like white and like a cayenne Color. And I have just a plain black like trouser short, if that makes any sense. Just the way the pockets are made, they're cut slightly low, like you can wear them as a business attire as well. Um, they're really, really stretchy. These are a bit big, but these run a little longer. And I just feel like you could dress these up or down. I forgot I had a pair of black jeans. So just a regular ooh, pair of black jeggings. These are also a size 16 short. I don't wear these often. I like them, but they're not the black kind of jean I was looking for. So I bought a swimsuit for Florida, and it's this, like, tropical-y palm print, palm tree situation. Now, this is a one. It's really cute. It has, like, a lot of padding. It's basically like they put a bra in a swimsuit, you know? So I got a two, and they look like that. They're high-waisted. They're ruched, and I originally thought that ruching would make me look awful, but I find that in the, this pattern, it kind of hides it very well. It's just a red bralette. I think I got this in clearance as well, so I only spent like $4 on it. This is my favorite one that I own. I only own, I own three, and I thought this wouldn't be my favorite, but it is. Um... I like how soft it is. I like the navy. I love navy blue. Um, and I like the the back. It has all that like strappiness. And then the front also has like the little double straps across the chest. Just a black halter style, which I think is great. These high waisted like burgundy pair. These were actually too big. These are a size two. I generally wear a one in their underwear. And they're high waist, they give me that vintage feel. I just have a pair of black and red 
just bikinis, I guess. I don't know. They say bite me, this is the back. And the front is just like that. I have this striped pair. Just the same thing as the stripe, but with black bow. And I got these. So I have this lace up tee, which, and in cuffs. There's the black one. Exact same thing. But I feel like the laces on the black one are way more open no matter what I do. This is from their Torrid Co Insider Collection. And this is a size two, it's just a little big, but I've gained a little weight so it might fit. Um, it also laces up. I just have a plain black tee. I got these on in clearance because I know they originally like, came out and I was like, I'm not paying $30 for just a t-shirt. These are both size two. I love them. I wear them all the time with everything. So, And I have an ACDC shirt. It says back in black on the back. This is a size one because I wanted it specifically to just fit. I have a sheer, extremely sheer shirt with um, little embroidered floral things on it. But it's a size zero because I wanted it to fit. I didn't want it to be super long. Another clearance item is just like this cold shoulder, um, nice pretty Carnation pink? Salmon pink? I don't know. The reason I got the zero on this is because it was fairly flowy and I felt like I could get away with this for a one. And the last shirt I have is this off the shoulder um, chambray button down shirt. None of the buttons are actual. You can't really unbutton them. But that's what it is. It just across the shoulder like that. Um, it slides up a little, like rides up a little, but it's okay. This is a size one and the sleeves are like elastic so you can like scrunch them up if you'd like. And it like hands at the bottom like an actual button down. I just wanted to jump in here quick um, and add these last few items that I picked up over the last couple of weeks, in the last month anyway. First thing is this bomber. It's a size two, everything that I wear in toward as far as a jacket is generally a one or a two, well, generally a two. But yeah, so I just picked up this, it's like a dusty, deep dusty pink, when I, like a deep dust rose pink, yeah. Uh, has like this cool embroidery, which I'll do close-ups of or me wearing it or some shit. But yeah, it's cute. It is a size. Not a size, it was $78.90 originally. It's like a nice olive green, a nice rich olive green with embellishments and little dangly chains and stuff like that. This is a size one only because it is a jersey material. So it has a little more give in the arm, but it fits really well even when you take undo the buttons. It still fits decently and I like the peplum. It gives a more polished look if you're looking for that. You can dress it up, dress it down, like it's very versatile. I believe this was also $78.90 when I tell you about this bomber. It's, it's, when I saw it, I, I bought it. I was like, I'm going to max out my car, car, but it don't matter. I did <laughs> on this one because I'm paying on it, but like, dude, I don't know. It has these like nice, uh, floral patches. I was gonna say it was embroidered in, but it's it's not. It's just a patch that was ironed on, most likely, or sewed around the edges. Nothing spectacular, but I love camo and I love floral, especially especially rose, rosy floral pattern things. And on the back it says "Come as you are," and if you're a Nirvana fan, Kurt Cobain fan, you'd gravitate. It's eighty eight ninety. This is a size two. There's this t-shirt that I, I like. I like the color. It's not black, which is unfortunate, but <laughs> I like the color and I just like that it was like this. I want to say it's Chinese inspired, but whatever. Uh, I was on the fence about getting it because of, obviously it's a little insensitive, I suppose. Um, but I liked it. I think it was $28.90. It's a size zero. Everybody who I no personally in life knows that I live for a striped shirt and a cold shoulder, which this is. 
this is cute i you know would have liked if they would have made this into like a mini dress that would have been gorgeous um because it's quite long but if they would have made it just a hair longer with some fishnets and a biker boot please you couldn't tell me anything and lastly for this portion of the haul i've got a pair of jeans um so i picked up a pair these were 58 90 uh and they're just i don't know what the rinse of this one is they just look like this just kind of a medium rinse medium dark rinse with the little light patches on the thigh these are a size 14 regular for now that's all i have for torrid so i will see you soon bye guys thanks for watching